Alright you guys, welcome back to another U150 Decklist Profile. Today we're going to be going over uh, Weavile. Now this is the new Weavile, not the Weavile that won the summer tournament from last year. Um, last year Weavile took home the prize um, pretty much because there was no way for decks to efficiently deal with Rule of Evil or Flying Flip. Uh, Pokemon Center just was kind of an afterthought for us. We didn't put it in a lot of decks and as such Coco and Weavile alone just could take over games. Um, even without the use of Porygon Z, we did not include Porygon Z in that list and it was kind of surprising. Um, but uh, due to evolutions in the meta, Weavile still is just kind of middle tier, and because everyone plays Pokemon Center, um, the the Rule of Evil flying flip damage sometimes just doesn't stick, you know? Um, however, that doesn't really exclude this deck from being bad, because what you can do with this deck is now that we've added um, bats in it, Zubat, Crobat, Crobat, and the Crobat G, um, being able to Crobat G a Porygon puts it in Rule of Evil range. So the deck's still not bad because you can just play a lot of this stuff and still be able to Rule of Evil take out their support Pokemon. Um, it becomes less about Vilify. The deck used to be very based around that Vilify and a Rule of Evil backup, but now it's Rule of Evil first and then Vilify second. Um, Vilify just is not even a really just kind of it's just kind of an afterthought at this point because there's not a lot of cards you want to pitch really like most of the stuff you want to have on the field you want to have Mr. Mime on the field for Rule of Evil you want to have Coco on the field as just kind of an annoying free retreat or early game attacker um, and then all of your support Pokemon so Rule of Vilify really isn't going to be you know doing a lot or be the main course of your thing it's just going to be trying to kill your support Pokemon and then you know maybe just getting some bat drops right um and just trying to take early cheap prizes with Crobat and uh, and Col Golbat, or even going into Evil Tall Break and trying to sweep with that. So, um, yeah, it, it's still middling tier because it does require a lot of your opponent's have abilities. Um, and if your opponent can just take knockouts on your soft 90 HP Pokemon uh, without the use of their support Pokemon, which is fairly easy to do, um, it will struggle. So I don't want to say Revile is a bad deck because it does have that capability of sweeping your opponent's board, but it's not a good deck because alternatively there's just not a lot to go off of. Um, I suppose you could, instead of playing like Evil Tall Break and Evil Tall, find a different Dark Attacker. I don't know what there is out there. Um, there's just not a lot of great like dark basic attackers that you could use. Evil Tall really is the best one. It is an EX, unfortunately. Um, but if you can find a way to kind of use that in tandem with the Rule of Evil, uh, this deck can do good things. Um, but you know, there's just like there's just a lot of weird nuances with this deck, um, and it'll always be middle tier. Even though it won last year, it'll always just be average, and it'll continue to be average. So. Um, Great deck that if you want to try to have fun with your opponents, and if you know your if you know what they're playing, and but there are some things that Weavile just kicks the crap out of, um, so it's not the worst deck in the world, but then again, also not the best. We found out that this deck actually does really well against um, Lost World. Like this deck just destroys Lost World because Rule of Evil one shots their um, Gengar while also spreading damage so there's a, like you can take like four prize turns pretty easily and we all know that Lost World takes a lot to set up so Rule of Evil can really do some damage in that matchup but uh, yeah if you have any other questions please let us know uh, if not have a great rest of your day